It is finally summer! Oh my god, so excited. finished my junior year yesterday um so that was pretty exciting i'm like a senior now you guys oh my god ah! only 180 more days left of school for me if less than that because i will probably only have one exam and that 180 days includes exam days so yeah okay i'm gonna get into the questions millie um Congratulations on finishing high school. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you. That's so great. Um, and I'm glad that you finally got to finish. Um, I'm excited about finishing myself. Um, and also happy birthday. Um, I hope you had a good birthday. I'm sorry, I didn't make a video for you here. Um, but anyways. I hope you had a great day, you know, with whatever, you know, actually I saw your birthday video, so, um, yeah, so it looks like you had a great day, so congrats and happy birthday. Um, and her question was, do you listen to music as you fall asleep? Um, I can't really, I like, you know how people call themselves picky eaters? I'm a picky sleeper. Um, things have to be just right for me for me to be able to fall asleep. Um, I have to be comfortable. Um, the lights will have to be off. I mean, except for usually like a nightlight is fine. Um, I have one in my room simply because um, usually when I wake up, I'm very disoriented and I don't want to trip over anything and my room is extremely messy. So, you know, I don't want to trip <laughs> over anything. Um, and I can't really listen to music as I fall asleep. Um, the only noise that I really like having going is my fan. I can't really, it's hard for me to fall asleep without a fan, um, like Caroline was talking about. So um, I have fallen asleep listening to music a few times, but that was generally the one, like, um, I think my friends were watching, I was at a sleepover, and my friends were going to watch The Hangover, and I was really tired, and I just wanted to sleep. I didn't want to listen to that, so I put on some relaxing music on my iPod, and I just fell asleep like that. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and it was nice to see a video from Nina and Millie. Those are always really cool. I enjoy um, watching your guys' videos. Um, Caroline, I'm glad that you found my video funny. And um, it might be a good thing that you were unable to answer my questions. Because um, they are kind of difficult questions. Um, finals and midterms in high school are stressful, and stressful teachers don't make anything any better. So, and I just wanted to say you looked so pretty for your um, semi formal. Um, I saw your pictures on Facebook, so I'm really glad that you got to go and had a good time. That's great. Um, Emily, congrats to you too. Um, congrats to anyone who is the class of 2011. Um, and I did see your dress and pictures on Facebook. You look so pretty, too. Um, I loved your dress. I loved the way that it, like, fit with your body. I don't know how to say that without sounding creepy, but I, I, it complemented your body very well. Um, and what? You're second in your class? Holy crap, girl. That, well, wow. That is a major accomplishment. Um, here... Usually, the val there, we have a valedictorian and a salutatorian, and the salutatorian is the second in class. So you're the salutatorian. How cool is that? And at our school, the salutatorian gives an, a speech. But yeah, so congrats. And um, your final is worth 50, like 5-0% of your grade. Jeez. Oh, my God. Ours are only like... 10, 15, or 20 percent. That's, oh my god, that's insane. And her question was, what are you proud of? Um, I'm actually really proud of myself for, first of all, finishing this year. 
Um, this year has been a tough year for me. Um, it wasn't. It's not been as bad as freshman year was for me, but um, it's been tough. So I'm very happy to say that I came out of um, this year with A's and B's and one C plus in AP Chemistry um, for semester. I ended up auditing second semester, so I didn't do. I didn't do that class that, that second semester. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of that. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm proud of. Um, and Lauren, welcome back to the channel. We definitely missed you, and um, it, I'm glad that you're doing sort of better in some ways and worse in others, but okay. <laughs> that was put really poorly, I'm sorry. Um, I'm happy to hear that your hip surgery went well. That's good. I'm glad that it's helping and you're not hurting as much. That's always good. Um, and yeah, and her question was, what is your favorite history subject? Um, like you said, I find the Holocaust fascinating. I love learning about it. I mean, it's like a horrible thing, but I think that's what makes it so fascinating. I don't know. Um, I really enjoyed when we learned about that in U.S. History 2 um, this year, so that was fun. And that was all the videos this week. And before I move on to my stuff, um, I just wanted to say that you guys are all so beautiful and so, so strong. Like, you guys just blow me away at, um, like, everything that you do and how brave you all are and how just persistent and I, I don't know what the right words to say but you guys are all just amazing and I, I'm just at a loss for words because I, you guys are so incredible that's like basically all I can say um, and I also just wanted to say that Stacy I love you I love you so much um, and I'm sorry that things are happening in your life right now that really suck. Um, and I really hope that things look up soon. And I know they will. It just might take a little while. It will get better. I promise. So I'm here for you as well as all of the other girls. I'm sure if you're not here for her, you can get out. <laughs> But I don't think that's the case with anybody. So that's all I wanted to say. Um, I'm here for anybody who needs it. So yeah. Um, okay. So back on lighter subjects. Um, my question for this week is kind of a different question. I don't know. But since we're on YouTube, I was just wondering what kind of YouTubers do you guys watch? Like, I know a lot of you watch, like, POTS-related channels and stuff like that, but... Um, I was just wondering if there were any of you who watched, like, other channels, like comedy channels or um, skit channels or stuff like that. I watch a lot of different channels. I'm subscribed to, like, uh, 140-some people. And, I don't know, I really enjoy having different, like, comedy sketches and, um, and like, I don't know. Um, I enjoy daily vloggers, like um, Charles Trippy. CTFXC, which I'm wearing their hoodie right now, actually. Oops. Um, oh, you know, it just reminded me of something, because I just, I had cereal earlier, and that reminded me that I completely skipped Caroline's question. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay, I'm glad I caught that before I moved on. But let me just finish my question first. Um. I like daily vloggers, I like comedy channels, and yeah, that's what I like watching. So, okay, Caroline, what is your favorite cereal? Um, I'm a sucker for, like, sugary cereals, like, I love Reese's Puffs, like, that's so bad, I know, and Captain Crunch, oh my god, that's so bad. Um, but in terms of maybe healthier cereals, I actually just had a bowl of, it's like, fiber plus antioxidants it's like berry yogurt crunch or something and it's pretty good um and my mom also recently bought chocolate cheerios and they're pretty good um they're really good actually 
So I enjoy those. Those my mom doesn't like to get the she calls them junky cereals very often. So, which is probably a good thing, but you know. Um, okay. So I will get on to my week now, and I'm sorry if I missed anybody else's question. Oh my god. Okay. So Friday, I actually went to a party, which is unusual for me. Like I don't usually go to parties. I usually spend my Friday nights on the computer. So it was kind of interesting. It, <laughs> I'll tell you a story. It was my first um, ever drinking party, I guess, like where people were drinking. It was it was interesting. I mean, there was no like heavy drinking. It's just people were drinking, and it wasn't what I was used to. And I'm just like, oh, okay. I don't drink, so yeah. Um, Saturday, I hung out with my friend Alyssa for a few hours, and then it was funny. I was sitting on the couch with her, and then all of a sudden my mom comes in, and she's like, um, so, you know, Alyssa might need to go by, like, 5.30 or 6, because we're going up to Grandma's before (laughs) that day, and I'm just like, oh, okay, thanks for telling me. Thanks for informing me on this. So we drove up to my Grandma's on Saturday night. And Sunday, the reason why we went up to my grandma's was because my cousin Maggie graduated from college, and I just wanted to say, I, she doesn't watch these videos, but I'm so proud of her, and she's put in a lot of hard work, and she's done some really cool things, and it was, it was really, it was really awesome to see her graduate. Um, so, yeah, she is either going to grad school this coming spring or the fall of 2012. So, yeah. Um, we had the after party, too, which... <coughs> excuse me. Was interesting. Like, you know, it, we just all hung out and ate. And, oh, we did go for a ride. My grandma got a yellow Mustang convertible. So, um, Maggie drove, um, and... We drove, and <laughs> we were joking. We were like, we're two hot blondes in a convertible, you know. So we were hot stuff. Um, if you guys are wondering who she is, um, she's actually in my profile picture right now. So that's her. Yep. Um, so then Monday was the rap. Rash regular day of classes. Can't talk. Um, it was the last regular day of classes. Um, which was kind of sad because I had some friends who were seniors who were graduating, so it was kind of sad. Um, and one day I also found out that we're getting a pool, apparently. <laughs> Not a big one. It's only 15 feet in diameter, and it's only 42 inches deep, but that's still cool. Like, we, it's the biggest pool we've ever owned. Um, so, yeah, I will update on that later. Um Tuesday, I had the day off from school because I didn't have any exams that day. So I did nothing. Well, I studied at night because I procrastinated and didn't study all day. I'm such a good student, I know. Um, let's see. And then yesterday, I had my one and only exam, which was U.S. History 2. Oh, my God. Who's... So I don't know if you guys remember this, but I was in pre-calc at the start of the year, um, and I ended up dropping out after first semester. So I had to go return my book to this guy, and he's, he's, um, I mean, like, he's a good teacher, but I don't know. He's not the easiest person to approach. So I had to go up to him and talk to him and give him my book, and I was really scared, too, because I thought he was going to be angry with me because I turned my book in, you know, so late. He, I think he sent me an email back in March about turning my book in, so I thought he was going to be mad at me, but in actuality, I was scared of the wrong person because we get to, I took my friend Alyssa with me to U.S., um, to, and to the exam, and we got there. The exam started at 935, we got in school, and somebody told us it was 9.33, so we sprint down the hall, which was very difficult, by the way, and we make it there, and the door shut already, and we're like, crap. So my poor friend knocks on the door, and um, our teacher goes, who is it? And she's like, someone's on Rachel, and he's like, why are you late? And she's like, well, we got here at 9.33, and we sprinted down the hall, and we thought we would be okay on time. And he's like, he reluctantly opens the door. And we're like, oh, my God, thank God. Uh, 
so yeah and then later he's like i turn in my book and he's like thanks so much i'm like bipolar much anyways so i'm that was the finish i'm finished with my junior year now so i guess i'm a senior now so so excited um it's like um my graduation is actually this is weird that i know this i know but like my graduation is next year on june 9th and in case you don't know today's june 9th but since next year is a leap year it's 366 days away so i'm excited if you can't tell i'm so ready to be done with high school um and then today I finished cleaning out my locker um, because I had an, a, like a dry erase marker in there and then people would write messages like on my locker, but they were kind of old like from the beginning of the school year, so they had like dried on. So I had to go back and take some Windex to my locker, but it took less than a minute to do, so it was no big deal. It took me more time to drive over there than to finish, you know, cleaning up. And my friend is actually coming over today at, she finishes her exam at um, 1240, so she said she was going to come over after, so I don't know, um, we talked about going to a park maybe, um, I kind of want to get some, like, soda, caffeine or something, because I'm really tired, my body still wants me to wake up at, like, 9 in the morning, I'm like, but I stay up till, like, 1 at night, because it's summer, like, you know, this is what, this is what I do during summer, I stay up late, <laughs> um, so I woke up at 9 this morning, and I'm, I'm tired, and I couldn't go back to sleep. Um, and then later this week on Saturday, I actually have two more graduations, so that makes four graduations in one week. I'm going to the graduation for my school, and then I'm also going to a friend's graduation. So, yep, that's about it for me. Sorry this video is so long. I just can't seem to shut up. Um, I really hope that you got some kind of enjoyment out of this long video, but I'm going to go now. I love you all so, so much. And I will see you next week. Bye.